Zach Plesak is going to be on the mound for the Indians and let's see if uh, he can get it rolling his last start these two matched up back in Detroit last week so he's going to make his second straight start against Detroit and we told you he gave up the two runs in that uh, in that ball game and both of them came in the first inning so he's going to try and have that quick one two three I don't see any reason why not he, he settled in pitched very well and he feels much more comfortable in his home ballpark. High drive center field Ahmed Rosario back racing back makes the catch and then crashes into the wall hangs on all the way back to first goes Willie Castro. He's a novice in center field that was a bit of an adventure but he hung well, on and made a great adjustment at the end. Well he can smile now about it but he, he broke in on this ball and you see then all of a sudden he's got to go back so you drift we call that drifting 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 but I'll tell you what it's a it's all a comfort factor out there. He made the catch good for him but that's going to take a while to run the routes and with two down Nomar Mazzara heading to the plate chopped in the hole Cesar Hernandez with the long throw retires Mazzara to end the inning first curveball of the night no pun intended the Tigers forced to go with Derek Holland as their starter tonight rather than Julio Terran we'll see what kind of answers we get to the reason for that but 228th career start for Derek Holland his first start since August 28th when he was with the Pirates a year ago at Milwaukee 0 and 2 to Hernandez and he chased upstairs first out of the night for Derek Holland and Ramirez hit the oh, bag baby. it'll go into center field and Rosario speeding all the way to third base well there's a break that goes in favor of a Cleveland hitter because so far this year it has seen the breaks have gone against many of the Indians hitters so the Indians have runners at the corners with one out for Eddie Rosario chopped to second base they'll try to turn two. there's one back to first not in time Eddie beats it out keeps the inning alive and gives the Indians the lead well there's a, they had to turn it quickly that's the toughest way to turn that double play going four six three wow. no he beat it out they'll give him the RBI and the Indians will play from in front great hustle by Eddie Rosario to get that run home and now a runner at first two down for Fran Mil Reyes he smokes that one way out of here deep to the bleachers Fran Mil Reyes second home run of the year for Fran Mill it's a three nothing Cleveland lead well he went to the well one too many times there staying inside Fran Mill made the adjustment and like had the count in his favor and he did some damage and uh, pulled the hands in quickly it's right where all the rest of the pitches were right there 94 that was one of his better fastballs and Fran Mill said uh uh let me pull my hands and he's seen enough pitches in there made the adjustment hits the home run that'll be his second on the year. And he rings him up a couple of strikeouts in the inning but Cleveland with three hits and three runs. Jonathan Scope leads off for Detroit swung on and missed please Zach strikes him out one away strikeout for Zach he gave up the uh, leadoff single there's a nice slider by him going down the way. Got the next three out and starts this inning off with a strikeout. Two outs that leads it up to Akil Badu. Boy, he's this young man been fun to watch. That's an understatement. Five for 11, a couple of home runs, seven RBIs. Through the fastball up high by Badu. So Plesak with his second strikeout cruises through the second inning. And the Indians lead the Tigers 3-0. Here's Jacoby Jones. And a double play ball yes. to Cesar. Sure is. There's one. And they turn two. Nice job by all concerned on that play. The 4 6 3. And Hernandez almost lead him. He, he led him to the bag. Watch the backhanded flip. And then he comes across and makes the throw. I don't know if he picked it at the uh, first base side of it. Had to get out of the way of the runner. Yes, he did a little bit. So a four six three and that's well, how you do it right there. Pull it by him. Third strikeout for Zach Plesak. Another zero on the board. Midway through the third three nothing Cleveland. 
three nothing Indians with the lead bottom of the fifth inning and Chris this truly is one of the terrific stories so far of 2021 Michael Fulmer's rejuvenation swing and a miss how about that wow that's a hard slider right there 89 90 on the slider he just dispatched Rosario the pitch and swinging a ground ball back to the mound Foul by Fulmer he'll pick it up fire a strike to get Ramirez at first that's a really good play because that ball trickled behind the mound nice play one, two, three, fifth inning for Fulmer. We head to the sixth. Zach Lisak pitching a two hit shutout as we go to the sixth. Cleveland three, Detroit nothing. And he got him looking. Good slider. And out Lisak has now retired nine in a row. And that's his sixth strikeout. Fred Mill Reyes is two for two tonight. Two run homer in the first and a single in the third. Uh oh. Deep center field. Well here oh my into heritage park that thing got out of here like a bullet train second home run of the night for Fran Mel Reyes and it's 4-0 Cleveland you better have a mighty big tape measure for that puppy 4-0 Indians on a line drive home run into heritage park in center field that police act is dominating on the pitcher's mound yeah, is he ever looking to go seven innings here? Now the one-two offering. A swing and a tamper by the mound behind the bag at second. Jimenez has it. Throws out Mazzara. Two down. He is sitting here at 96 pitches in the seventh inning with six strikeouts, no walks. He kicks and delivers. And it's swung on another weak ground ball to short. Jimenez will throw him out. What a job by Zach Plesak tonight. You know his night is done, but what a night it was. He made 97 pitches tonight. He goes seven shutout innings, and he gives up three measly singles. Shaw making his second appearance. We'll have the six, seven, eight hitters for Detroit here in the eighth inning. This one sent to deep center field. Get out of here. And Ramos has done it again. A solo blast right where Reyes hit his. The shutout is no more. And Ramos' third homer of the year gets Detroit on the board. Let's hope that's contagious. Gets a hanger out over the plate. Doesn't try and pull it. Smoke. 443 feet. Nico Goodrum singled. Back in the third. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Came back with the exact same pitch. And it would have been ball four, but Goodrum chased after it. Struck him out looking. That was the move we were looking for on the leadoff hitter. All right, back to back strikeouts now. That was pretty much the same pitch, too. So he gets a second out. Loop to left. Charging in. Eddie makes a running catch. Inning over. Four to one Cleveland ninth inning. Class A trying to get a second ever major league save. The other coming two years ago. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. One away. Like uh, the spin, the, the nice bite to this slider goes straight down. Really no chance. And when you have two strikes and you throw this pitch, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get a swing and a miss. Just by Classe's glove, but Cesar Hernandez cleans it up two away. His 14th pitch of the inning. Swing and a miss. Ball game. Struck him out with a back foot slider. And Emmanuel Classe has his second ever major league save. And the Indians had brilliant pitching tonight, starting with Zach Plesek. Four to one, Indians. Dominate the Tigers.